All right, my brother, in this video, we're gonna talk about what you can and you cannot control in a toxic relationship. And this is important for you to know because most of the time, guys are trying to control shit they can't control. And then the things that they can't control, they know nothing about or they're just ineffective about it. And so nothing in the relationship ever changed. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you can and what you can't control and what you should control. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray the Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. All right, what you cannot control. One, you cannot control her actions. No matter what you do, she's going to do what she's going to do. Right? So if you're in a toxic relationship, if she's manipulating you, she's going to do what she's going to do. And you know this because she's willing to manipulate you, guilt you, shame you, make you feel less than in order to get what she wants. Oftentimes, this is going to be accompanied with a lot of gaslighting. In other words, she's going to just lie straight through her teeth that she didn't do something even though you saw her do it. And so you can't control her actions. And you also can't control her willingness to grow, her willingness to change. And I know you've probably been in conversation after conversation with her about how she probably shouldn't be so mean to people or how she should be a little bit different or if she only did this thing, things would be different. And you end up finding that you're explaining like basic concepts like being nice to people, telling the truth, or just doing what you say you're going to do. And so you find yourself in a situation where you're trying to get this person to do different things. Right? Trying to get her to change her actions, trying to get her to change her ability to grow or wanting to grow and become better as a person. Again, you cannot change her actions and you can't convince her to want to be a better person. All right, so what can you control? You can control you. So you can control your boundaries. In other words, if you say there's something going on that you don't like, you can control if that happens anymore in your life or not. When you set a boundary, it has to have a consequence. So in other words, if she does something you don't like, you execute the consequence of the boundary, right? If you have a child, the child isn't stopping the screen time when you tell them to, then you say, I'm going to take away your screen time tomorrow. And then if they don't do it, you take away the screen time tomorrow. That way, the next time you tell them to get off the computer or the phone, they get off of it or they don't have screen time. Either way, it's solved. And so for you, a boundary has to have teeth. Now you can't change her sovereignty. You can't make her do something that she's not supposed to do or wants to do, right? She's a sovereign human being with rights. But what you can do is you can control your time and attention. And you can control your response. So if she gets angry at you, she gets upset, you can choose to just react like an unhinged maniac and just escalate the fight further, or you can respond appropriately in a mature fashion. In other words, you don't have to engage in the argument. You don't have to engage in anything she says. Just realize that when you engage in it in an emotional way and you get all amped up with her, you just make the situation worse and it demonstrates to her that you're just not in control of yourself. And if you're not in control of yourself, how is she gonna trust you as a man to lead your relationship and her forward? And three, know when to walk away. You don't have to stay here and be in a toxic situation. You can walk away anytime you want. You can walk away from an argument. You can leave the house. You can leave the relationship. You have the power to do what you want and your time and attention is your greatest valuable asset. What you give your time and attention to grows. So if you don't like what you're seeing in your relationship, don't give time and attention to it. Don't give time and attention to somebody who doesn't respect your boundaries, who tries to belittle you, who tries to get you riled up all the time. Do not give time and attention to that. Typically you're in a toxic relationship, everything becomes about the other person. If you're this guy who's with the, a woman who's manipulative, then everything about her is going to start eliciting you to start paying more attention to her and her all the crazy drama that's going on in her life. In other words, everything is about her. Her boss doesn't like her. Bad luck happens to her. Her car doesn't work. She's so stressed. She's so overwhelmed. And this is her way to endeavor you to do more for her so she can do less. Emotionally support her, talk to her boss, drive her around, buy her tires, whatever it happens to be. She becomes this perpetual victim and you keep this perpetual savior. And so when you're doing this, you're not really in control, she's in control. And you're focusing on all the things that are happening to her life and you want to tell her to do things differently, to operate differently. Being all up your partner's ass about how they're operating in the world is just going to elicit more of the toxic behavior, more of the collision and the bad communication that's just going on. Remember, the only thing you can control is you. So stay in the pocket of your own self-control and don't get hopped up and wrapped up into all of her bullshit. So if you want to get the power back in a relationship, remember to enforce your boundaries, Keep an eye on what you can control and know when to walk away. And then by doing this, you're going to demonstrate that your life is handled on your terms and not on all the drama that's happening in their life. 
And once you've established this, that only you are going to do what's happening in your life, you're not going to get wrapped up in all her drama, it's going to escalate. As she tries to get more of your attention, tries to get you to capitulate, as she tries to test you and tries to push you down further and further so she can remain in control of you in your mind. And so in a toxic relationship, is usually marred by a lot of manipulation and lies. And so when this is happening, you stop putting your time and attention into this person, which is then going to have them try even harder to get you roped into all the bullshit with guilt and shame, more manipulation and lies. And so as you consistently do this, they'll see that this doesn't work anymore. And when it doesn't work, they'll start putting their mind in different areas. They won't try to do that with you anymore. And they might lose interest in you because a lot of times when you're in a toxic relationship, the reason they stay in it is because they can control you. Oftentimes turning a toxic relationship around is about focusing on what you can control, which is your boundaries, your response, and your ability to walk away. Oftentimes, if you as a man can keep yourself calm, cool, and centered, and simply respond in a mature fashion to what she's saying versus getting wrapped up in all of her crazy, you can lead her back into her heart and not go down this toxic cycle of yelling and fighting. We're just doing this tit for tat, trying to hurt each other. And so you want to step outside that entire conversation and game of the fight and trying to win it and try to reach back into her soul. See what's actually going on within her that's evoking this kind of response. And this can take some time to develop this skill because first you have to notice what's happening anyway. If she's angry at you, it's usually not the thing that's, that's being said. It's usually some sort of an insecurity or fear underneath it that's being now expressed in this way. And so if you can tap into that thing, and call out to that directly, you will now be able to start making a change in the relationship. And you'll realize that toxic behavior takes two ways. One person has to elicit it, the other person has to respond to it, and they just keep going back and forth. But if you step out of that game, you can oftentimes turn a toxic relationship into something that is a lot more harmonious. And if you're in a toxic relationship or you suspect that you are in a toxic relationship, check out this video here on narcissism which is our bread and butter here at Genuine Attraction. We know how to deal with these people better than they know how to deal with themselves. And if you like this video, hit the like button so other men will see it in their feed. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.